are you ready for six months of convoy content across three countries? Because that's what has been planned. The Take Our Border Back North American Alliance has been announced. Which is basically the Take Our Border Back convoy, but giving up on the convoy part, at least in the branding. They say the US team is the Take Our Border Back convoy people, Christian leaders, and influencers. The Canadian team will include leaders from the Freedom Convoy and a lawsuit against the Trudeau administration. The Mexico's team is, well, they just don't talk about the Mexico team, but oh boy, do they talk about the term sovereign and sovereign citizen. To me, it feels like they kind of want to take over the word sovereign citizen to have a new meaning that actual sovereign citizen believers probably won't like. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments as we dive into it. It is worth noting, for the record, the donation page for this alliance currently has $169,060. But that includes the first convoy. So what's all the money needed for? Well, this is what they're selling it as. This is the Take Our Border Back North American Alliance. The Take Our Border Back North American Move Take Our Border Back Movement announces formation of North American Alliance, Canada, USA, and Mexico, breaking bread, table talk, and prayer. A lot of mouthfuls in this, by the way. 2024 events at the north and southern borders. Following the success of the February 3rd, 2024 convoy rallies in Texaco, California, and Arizona, they didn't have any successes though. Like nothing changed. The border like they didn't make anything happen. Um, generated approximately 10,000 attendees with 100 million reach worldwide through social media, broadcast, TV, radio, podcasts, and print media. 100 million? I would love the numbers. I would love the numbers. I love the numbers they're trying to go with here. Uh, take <laughs> Today, the Take Our Border Back Steering Committee announces Take Our Border Back North America Alliance. This alliance includes representatives from... Canada, USA, and Mexico. Mind you, at this moment, they can't list or aren't listing anyone from Mexico. Um, all united by their shared concerns of the devastating impact of open borders, illegal mass immigration, compromised election integrity, because they got to hit this in, and the hidden global agenda being implemented under the current administrations. The global agenda. That's a fun one. We the people, as sovereign citizens, will gather at the northern and southern borders of our three countries through 2024 for the breaking bread table talk and prayer to restore the sovereignty of our nations, hold governments accountable, and restore power to the people, by the people, and for the people. Take our border back. North American Alliance will provide resources, strategies, and action plans to empower and equip citizens to bring their shared concerns to the table and hold each Sovereign states, local sheriff, city councils, county board of supervisors, school boards, and elected officials accountable to the rule of law within each nation. So, a lot, a lot is in that. So, they're going to hold um, all these people accountable. But you have to remember that the laws are different by nation. There's now three nations, but also laws can be different by state, province, things like that. So that's, that's glorious, and I like how they're throwing in school boards here. TOBB North American Alliance aims to spotlight and challenge policies that have facilitated the unprecedented crossing of millions at the northern and southern U.S. borders, significantly affecting all three countries, which they describe as an invasion by predominantly military-aged men. The Alliance also highlights the severe consequences of open borders, including escalated human trafficking, and the surge in fentanyl deaths and compromised elections. Calling all active and retired law enforcement and military, veterans, mama bears, elected officials, business owners, ranchers, truckers, bikers, media, and law-abiding, freedom-loving Canadians, Americans, and Mexicans. I am actually surprised that American was not first. 
I, 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 I wish I could go back in the draft. I, I wonder if they like had American, they're like, this isn't sounding um, combining enough yet. We need to make sure we put another nation first sometimes. We the people are uniting North America at the northern and southern border to send a message to all local, state, and county, federal, politicians, border immigration, law enforcement, uh, officials who are enabling the illegal entrance from over 160 countries, including terrorists, to cross into Canada, America, and Mexico. Again, Canada first. But the tens of thousands every day, our nation's security and the safety of our families are at risk. Say no to veterans being displaced to house those who break the law. Say no to children as long as infants being sexually abused along a trek to our northern southern borders. Say no to fentanyl and other drugs pouring into our countries and killing our children by the thousands a day. Say no to non-citizens voting, of course, which is not a real thing. And we need your support to make this initiative a success. And your support is money. It's money. They have a hundred. They've already received one hundred sixty-nine thousand and sixty dollars, but that was for that last convoy that accomplished literally nothing and had nothing happen. And the border is the same. That took that money. I guess that wasn't enough to also fund this one. Um, they've updated their advertising basically now, by the way, to include uh, bread, a lot of bread, so they could use the phrase "breaking bread." Maybe they thought like the uh, the the bars were too negative when they're trying to get people to meet up with them. Uh, they say the mission is we the people as sovereign citizens are restoring our sovereignty by ensuring governments of all free nations close the border and protect the ballot box. So sovereign as sovereign citizens, they are trying to close the borders and protect the ballot box. But as far as I'm aware, like people that will call themselves sovereign citizens don't like borders or ballots. They don't like politicians, which is, again... This doesn't sound like actual sovereign citizen to me. It just sounds like they, they want to use the term. Maybe they're hoping so sovereign citizens will join in if they use the term. Uh, I, I don't know why they're using that exact term. Analogy, uh, as they said previously, they want to do the change through the sheriffs, the city councils, uh, school boards, county boards, and elected officials. Uh, they, they list off their foundational principles, right? The foundational principles of this are prayerful, peaceful and constitutional action so at this point you have you might think well so you have to be christian and you have to be uh an american because the constitution well then they just quote the u.s declaration of independence which is just great for an international movement i mean i guess it works with canadian uh convoy people because they love to fly trump flag literally saw a trump flag being flown outside of parliament in canada today so i guess that works they also say they want to restore the sovereignty to the people. Again, sovereigns use a lot. They claim the Biden administration, big tech, the media, the UN, NGOs are using sanctuary cities and migrants to overwhelm the American way of life. So, um, you're supposed to, in Canada, care about the American way of life. Same with Mexico. It's so weird to me they're doing this in countries. Because, and also, as I mentioned, they're wanting to fit, fit in the northern border, which also really doesn't make sense. So you're probably wondering, when? Where? June 29th in San Diego in the U.S. And I'm going to butcher the name. Uh, Tijuana, uh, Mexico. That's the first date. June 29th. July 14th, Shelby, Montana in Coots in Canada. August 24th, Youngstown, New York, Queenstown Heights Park in Canada. September 28th is in Miami, Florida, but it lists Canada, U.S. and Mexico. October 19th, Yuma, Arizona in the U.S., San Luis, Rio, Colorado in Mexico. And November 28th, it just says Canada, U.S., and Mexico. Maybe that's the date of, like, a big convoy in each country. I don't know. That seems, of course, that's always, like, you know, the game plan for convoy people. Is It always it always devolves back to a convoy. Um, what are they doing at these different locations? They don't say. I mean, they could be going around doing convoys, flag waves, having a dinner at a Cracker Barrel. I, I, I don't know what they think they're doing. Remember, like, 1776, which was part of the convoy movement in America, uh, they also had, like, listed dates. And what it was is they'd go find, like, a diner with a spare room and a projector and hold a conference to random old people that would show up. It was always the, like, nursing home level uh, attendance age. And um, that fell flat. But I mean, hey, what could have they accomplished with, you know, over $100,000, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's going on. That's a thing. 
Uh, will it will it materialize? I guess we'll find out closer to the end of June. Um, but yeah, over six months, six months uh, spread out their events. I doubt they're going to try to have a convoy or a constant event flowing that whole time. And I feel that kind of also dooms it, right? Like the whole point of the convoy movements are they getting the flow, they're following, and they, they don't want to quit. This is literally quitting every month. I foresee a flop. 